part of the world. Um, pretty quiet open here. I mean, obviously, um, dollar yen took a little a bit of a digger. Let's have a look at this uh, this fella here. Um, good old Erdy. Erdy the nerdy. Dollar turkey went up to 8 to 28. From 7.20. Awesome. I'll just refrain from comment there. You know what I'm thinking. Uh, let's go back to other things that we trade more regularly. We were not involved in the dollar turkey last night. Short Kiwi Yen. Um, this is sort of a risk off proxy. Gap down to uh, 58. Now bucket back up at 86. You can sort of sell this between 90 and the figure today on this sort of death knock retouch. Well, this looks pretty interesting on the downside now. Um, I'm not sure what's going to create the momentum. Could be rates. Could be could be a lot of things. I don't know. Uh, could be oil. We'll have to see. Uh, as far as currencies are concerned, you can see, you can see here. Uh, Okay, the FOMC up, next day down, further down, but now we're we still haven't teased out the bottom of this range. You got to be careful here. Um, you do not really want to be long dollars against the euro. You want to be long dollars maybe against some other things, but not against the euro. Um, Europe is doesn't look like it's in a great place. Uh, and this is always kind of the case, but this debt cycle could be a problem for Italy. There's growth problems, there's vaccine problems. Uh, and so in actual fact, if you're looking for long dollars because of rates, just you know play DXY rather than Euro, even though Euro is 60% of DXY. Uh, and if you want to be cheeky about it, you want to hedge the Euros out of this, as in I like getting long Euros some, somewhere down here. I'm not really sure you'll we'll have to see on the day. Um, let's see what happens if we retouch these lows here, 118.33. Um, just be careful if you're long dollars against your own. This isn't a bad dollar long uh, cable here. Just because of the chart, this looks like she wants to get below 138. I don't think she's going to collapse, but you know, you this could take a move, you know down to 135 no 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 problem at all so this one's tricky um, because of the risk off component so be careful here if cross yen starts heading south uh, which it kind of looks like it is dollar yen may not reach our sort of targeted 110 level where we actually like to short it dollar swiss i suggest you don't trade that um, Euro Swiss also, just stay away from it. I'm freaking Swiss and I stay away from it. Why do you think you would be any good at it? Um, here's this cross yen scenario. You can see Euro yen taking a digger, Aussie yen, we've already seen the Kiwi yen, now here's Sterling yen, all the same charts. These are all turning here. So, you gotta keep your eye on that. Our horse is Kiwi yen. Uh, we're short some spoos, just trading it. Uh, you know, we bought 90s last night. We're going to sell 12s. Um, trading it on the short side, I would say we have a very light short position uh, in spoos. CAD, you know, we've been talking about this 127.50 level now for like weeks and weeks and weeks. We're still waiting to trade. This is where we'll sell CAD. Is we get momentum up through here. Don't really have much of a view here. This could go either way. I don't even know what's driving CAD these days. Um, here's Aussie. Oh, let's look at Kiwi because 71 cents is an interesting point. And we're like tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Sort of three quarters of a percent away today. For this to be a good break trade or a momentum trade, we're going to have to see some carnage. So, um, you know, keep it in your pants for now, but get ready to whip it out if you need to. Um, 
71 cents. This is an interesting, interesting level. Dollars are our old friend. She's not really trading. Um, predictably these days. Obviously gap up with this dollar turkey move up to 94. Now we're back at 80. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. This should be higher in this and when we have these dollar rates where they are, and now we have risk off. Uh, not sure why this isn't this isn't roping higher. Uh, and dollar China, not doing much. As you can see here, these currencies other than dollar Turkey are not doing too much. I mean, I guess dollar Czar and dollar Max, as you can sort of in tandem, dollar EM got hit a little bit, but the Turkey is the story. Um, we're not trading it, so we just leave it alone. I mean, what a clusterfuck. Bitcoin, uh, just hanging around here. Took a little bit of a nibble down at 56,000. Um, I forget where the 1 trillion market cap is on this. Uh, but, but I feel like this is going to take a, make a move back to 40. Um, so just be careful with that. Our other friends out here, Ethereum, just dicking around, same thing. Uh, we're stellar today. Stellar's not doing much, 40 cents. And look at our 10-year yield. She's down a little bit. This could, this could now consolidate a little. Come a long way in a short time. So if you are short bonds, still like it now it's one of those like what do they call it on the reddit chat diamond hands yolo you know whack job whatever uh if you're sensible you'll start trading you'll start trading this helping your average so you can buy a couple of bonds back we dogeed on friday uh if we get a print below this low here, that really confirms a turn. Looks like we might do that. Just be sensible, right? I mean, Reddit is fun for entertainment, Wall Street bets. I love the fact they call themselves retards and go on TV and say, I am not a bunny and all that funny stuff. But in the end, they're all, they'll all be broke. And this is just the reality. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Like all stock day traders over the millennia, uh, ask all the day traders from 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002. They went from very rich to very poor. Um, this group who thinks GameStop is going to 500, um, they're going to lose it all because GameStop is a worthless company. I don't have a position in GameStop. I don't care about GameStop, but um, <laughs> anyway, I've said enough. We're short Kiwi yet. We're short a little bit of S&Ps. That's really all we got. We're watching Dollar Turkey because it's funny, uh, not funny for middle and lower class in that society who are going to get bitten by inflation because their currency's toilet paper. Just funny watching some sort of faulty towers uh, script on the leadership level. Anyway, I've said enough. Make some money out there, people. I dare you. Talk to you tomorrow.